My name is Barbara Nichol, and I'm the author of this picture book, A Boy Asked the Wind, which is illustrated by Gillian Newland. I'm going to be reading a few minutes of the opening of this book for World Read Aloud Day, which is on February 24th. In this book, a boy travels all over the world and meets five different winds. In the section that I'll be reading, you'll meet the Chinook Wind in Alberta, where for about 6,000 years, the Blackfoot First Nations hunted bison by driving them off of the cliffs at a place called Head Smashed in Buffalo Jump. And then we'll travel down to the Pacific coast of Nicaragua and meet the Papagayo Wind, who stirs up the water so that algae can grow. A boy asked the wind, A boy asked the wind, where do you live? And the wind up high in the flag shivered. The wind down low in the grass rivered over his toes to scatter the leaves. The boy called again, where is your home? The wind up high in the maple hummed, the leaves free and scarlet, then hammered down to blast against the boy's ear, come. Come west with me, come jag and jig down mountain sides over the crags where I'm Chinook. The boy felt a tug and a gust and a shake and a warm singing, a warm breath around his head, and saw a prairie huge and spread below with snow and bison herds. Snow eaters here, the boy heard, Plunging with a mighty whoosh, horns and hooves, a mighty swish through dry grass and coolies, rushing everywhere until the winter vanished. Then he and Chinook lingered to whistle spring into the land, tussled through shoots of silver weed, flew faster than homecoming geese, ran past a herd of bison pounding leaping over the cliff. Nightfall. Wind and boy looped smoke up from the fires, slipped meat roasting aromas under the flaps of teepees all around. Now I know, exclaimed the boy, the firelight's glow. This land of the Blackfoot and Buffalo is where you live. The wind seesawed but didn't answer. He was blowing the foam upon an ocean way down south, roaming far out to sea, screaming, Papagayo! Papagayo's come to churn this water, mix the shallow warm with deeper cold. So the boy followed the warm down swirling cold up flowing, seething, rolling, swelling, howling paths Papagayo stirred, where algae bloomed like tiny stars from feasting on cold water stores of healthy food. The boy helped to stir up one-eyed copepods, teardrop-shaped and minuscule, who gulped the algae feast and were gulped by something Thing bigger, who was eaten by something bigger. Swish, swash, fish, ate 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 fish, until a huge marlin came whooshing by in search of a huge breakfast, found the biggest for her feast, and knew who'd stirred the first link the algae blooms, so she burst from the water, burst right into the teeth of the wind to offer thanks. A breath, the boy broke surface. To the wind he gasped, this is your home, I know at last. But the wind just laughed.